Houston, I got a bad feeling about this mission. Hey everybody, welcome back to Mile Manor Vlog, I'm Chris. Uh, so this past Friday, a pretty awesome movie came out that a lot of people have been talking about on the internet and on Twitter, and it's called Gravity. It's directed by Alfonso Cuaron, the man that did the sci-fi epic Children of Men, and he also did one of my favorite Harry Potter films, The Prisoner of Azkaban. When in doubt, I find retracing my steps to be a wise place to begin. Good luck. What the bloody hell was that all about? Gravity was written by Alfonso Cuaron, but it was also co-written by his son. Now, this is the first father-son team I can think of writing a movie that I've ever seen. Not to mention, it's a very original idea, which in these days of movies that are based on comic books and books and TV, old TV shows, to have an original idea really means something. It stars a very small cast of George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. Clooney's playing the veteran astronaut Matt Kowalski, who is kind of the space cowboy, so to speak. He's on his final mission before he retires from being an astronaut. While on the other hand, Sandra Bullock's character of Ryan Stone is a medical engineer on this mission. The movie starts with his crew in space basically doing a spacewalk and trying to fix some pieces of the Hubble telescope, only for things to go horribly wrong when some space debris comes flying through. Needless to say, their shuttle gets damaged and the story becomes, how are we going to get home? And from the moment things start really going wrong for them, you really start to feel the danger that they are in. Limited power on their suits, limited oxygen, having to find a way home with a broken shuttle. The movie basically becomes a close one person narrative. You are with this one person trying to get from point A to point B and to survive. This movie is chock full of Alfonso Cuaron key shots where he loves, loves to take the long take, the long shot. Just, just like you're a person up there just watching, looking in on this. But when you do cut away, there are some POV shots where you're inside the helmet, you're seeing Bullock or Clooney's point of view. You're seeing what they are forced to do with the limited view angle, the limited sight. It's fantastic. Now at the beginning of the movie, on the screen, it tells you that in space there is no sound. But the sound design and sound mixing in this film are fantastic, or the lack thereof basically. Everything from the tools they're using to the impacts to the breathing is amplified because of the, the silence of space. Explore, do you, do you copy? Now when it comes to space, this movie might not be exactly scientifically correct, but it's pretty damn near realistic. Gravity had a production budget of 80 million, which they really put to good use. I mean, I felt like I was in space with them. I was experiencing floating around in space. It was fantastic. Also, if you have the option, I highly recommend the extra little bit of money to see this in 3D. It was shot in 3D, specifically for 3D, to give you that feel of being there. Besides just the visuals, the acting was fantastic. It was the first time in a long time I remember having watched a movie that actually really cared about if the characters lived or died. In fact, Sandra Bullock's acting was so good in this movie that she was awarded the Best Actress Award at the 2013 Hollywood Film Festival. I can't say enough about this film. It's gripping, chilling, and beautiful all at the same time. I'm gonna give it Five stars. All right, question time. In the comments, I wanna know what is your favorite non-sci-fi space movie? Is it Apollo 13? Is it The Right Stuff? Is it Gravity? Put it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Also a reminder, we are on Twitter. You can follow us at this address over here. Um, we'll have updates for you on movies, TV, video games, and any kind of geek culture news for you there. Also, you'll also get notifications when a new video comes up on there. As always, thanks again for watching my Old Manor Vlog. I'm Chris. I'll see you next time.